Hello, this is a tutorial on how to chalk paint a piano. Here's my original piano, and here is the final result. The first step before painting is to clean the piano with simple green or a vinegar and water mix. Make sure to remove all dust, vacuuming if necessary. Use painter's tape around the piano keys and pedals to protect them from paint drips. Remove accessory pieces and place them on a separate drop cloth for ease of painting. I use chalk paint made by American Chalk Paint Company. This color is a blue tone called Born on the 4th of July. This paint was purchased at a local store called American Mercantile and is free of any harmful or bothersome fumes, which made the project easy to paint indoors without need for ventilation. I used an ankled brush I purchased from Michaels for application. I began painting a full strength coat of paint on the entire piano and accessories. Depending on your room temperature, the chalk paint can dry surprisingly quick, as in under half an hour. I then applied a second coat that was diluted with water to help give it a smoother application. I followed the recommended dilution of one and a half cups of paint with one third cup water stirred well. Here is the piano after both coats of chalk paint. Once both coats were dry, I distressed the piano by running a damp rag along the edges. Sandpaper can also be used, but I did not have any on hand and liked that I did not have to wipe any dust away after distressing. I also decided to leave the metal accents of the piano revealed for more character, so I wiped the paint off those areas. Here is how the piano looked after being distressed. At this point, I decided I wanted a darker tone to flow with my home, so I applied a layer of black glaze finish to the entire piano. I poured a small amount in a container and mixed it well with water in order to not make it too dark. I then dipped a dish towel in the glaze and rubbed it along the piano for a thinner application. Here is the piano with the black glaze. As you can see, the lower panel is darker because I applied that portion undiluted with a paintbrush before deciding to thin it out for the rest of the job. The final step was to apply a clear top coat for protection. I decided to let it dry and add a second coat for more durability. Once everything was dry, I reassembled the accessories and the family quickly started enjoying making music again. I'm glad I made the effort to personalize our piano, and I encourage you to give it a try if you've been wanting to as well. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more DIY videos to come.